Hello, my name is Anna and in this video I would like to walk you through the procedure of separating and quantifying Legionella cells with the RQ Micro Cell Stream instrument and the RQ Micro Legionella Pneumophila Serogroup 1 kit. The Legionella Pneumophila Serogroup 1 kit contains 24 cartridges for 96 tests, a suspension of magnetic particles, staining dye, viability dye, positive control, filters, buffer 1 and buffer 2. In a first step, for every water sample I want to analyze, I am adding 3 ml of RQ Micro Buffer 1 to a 50 ml Falcon tube. Then I'm going to filter the water samples with a standard filtration unit. I'm placing the filter that RQ Micro provides with the kit on top of the filtration unit with the shiny side facing upwards. Then I'm attaching the upper part of the filtration unit, switch on the pump and let the sample run through the filter. With tweezers I'm folding the filter so that one margin is overlapping the other. I remove it from the filtration unit and place it into a 50 ml falcon tube that I have prepared beforehand. I carefully unfold the filter so that the shiny side comes into contact with the buffer. By tapping the tube on a hard surface, the filter moves to the lower part of the tube. By vortexing the tube for 30 seconds, I'm creating turbulence on the surface of the filter and thereby resuspend the cells in buffer. The filter might move back and forth, but it should always lie flat on the inner wall of the falcon tube. I'm then transferring my resuspended cells, every drop, including foam, into a fresh 15 ml falcon tube. Now I will add two types of antibodies produced by RQ Micro to my sample. This mix contains antibodies bound to magnetic particles. They will bind to the target cells and thereby enable the immunomagnetic separation. I'm adding 30 microliters of the magnetic bead solution to my 3 ml sample. I'm also labeling the Legionella cells with antibodies bound to a fluorescent dye. Thereby I can quantify them with the flow cytometer after the immunomagnetic separation. I am adding 10 microliters of staining dye per 3 ml sample. Then I incubate the sample for 30 minutes at room temperature so the antibodies can bind to the target cells. The tube should be gently rocked during this incubation. Like this, this, or also like this. And now I'm ready to load the RQ Micro disposable cartridge. I will start with loading 3 ml of the RQ Micro washing buffer into the corresponding wells. The next step is to load my sample or samples into the corresponding compartments. Up to four samples can be processed in parallel. I am placing the cartridge into the cartridge chamber of the cell stream and close the lever with both hands. I select the program and the channels. and start the immunomagnetic separation process. The sample passes through a narrow channel in the cartridge. During this process a magnet is lowered down and thereby diverts the Legionella cells which are bound to magnetic particles. At the same time more than 95% of the competing flora originally present in the sample is directed to the waste fraction. Due to a washing step the sample purity reaches up to 99%. At the end of the process, the magnet is raised and the Legionella cells are collected in clean buffer in a final volume of 1 ml. In order to analyze the samples with the flow cytometer, I transferred my positive fraction into clean Eppendorf tubes. Mm -hmm. 
If I want to distinguish between live and dead Legionella cells, I transfer half of my sample, 500 microliters, into a fresh Eppendorf tube and add 5 microliters of the RQ micro viability dye. I vortex and incubate for 10 minutes. In this last step, I'm quantifying the target cells with a flow cytometer. Here, I'm looking at a sample that is only stained with green staining dye. All Legionella cells that were present in this sample, dead or alive, are visible as this population here, in the green area. A major advantage of the RQ micro method is that also viable but non culturable cells are detected. Now I'm looking at a sample that I additionally stained with the red viability dye. This red dye only stains dead cells. The viable fraction that is stained only green is here. The population of dead Legionella cells you can see here. In the RQ Micro kit, you will also find a tube that contains a positive control, which will help you set the gate correctly. If you do not work with flow cytometry, you can also analyze your sample by PCR, fluorescence microscopy, or simply by adding a specified volume of the sample onto a Petri dish. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching. And if you have any questions about the procedure, please don't hesitate to ask me or my colleagues from the RQ Micro team. Further information you can also find on our website, rqmicro.com.